Aggies rank in the top 20 all time in postseason appearances. Now, the bowl system has changed drastically since A&M went to its first postseason game almost a century ago. But one thing has remained constant. If you are successful in this type of event, it won't be soon forgotten. It's the final scene before the curtain comes down on your season, the last act, with hopes of a lasting impression. As much controversy as they've caused, the memories created by them surpass any criticism. The bowl game is still the destination at the culmination of every college football campaign. This is the Aggies 35th. The school's greatest tradition was born in its postseason debut. Then on January 1, 1940 in the Sugar Bowl, John Kimbrough and company claim a national title. The star reflected on the celebration years later. I never did like champagne. Now I ate all the steak that I wanted. <laughs> Another great, John David Crow, fashioned a 24-5-2 record as an Aggie, but made just one postseason game. It was his last in the maroon and white at the 57 Gator Bowl. That opportunity nearly didn't materialize. We as a team voted not to go to the bowl because Coach Bryan had announced that he was leaving A&M and going to Alabama. So I had to tell him that the team had voted not to go to the Gator Bowl. And he said, well, we got a problem. He said, I've already accepted it, so we're going to play. <laughs> and so I said, yes, sir, <laughs> we'll go tell them. <laughs> but it was a, uh, an honor to be selected to go to any bowl, and, and as it is today, as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, the Cotton Bowl is etched in the minds of Aggies with 13 trips to the Metroplex. Some of these memories are ingrained and easy to retain. He did not make it. Well, after three tries, uh, they call a timeout. By that time, it's fourth and two. And what would you do? I mean, if you're fourth and two on the goal line and you don't give it to the Heisman Trophy, <laughs> you better, whatever else you try, it better be successful. So they did what, what I would have done if I'd have been uh, in Pat Dye's shoes. You know, they gave it to Bo Jackson. I told our guys they're probably going to give it to him. Y'all go back out there. We had our fans down on that end zone. That whole end zone was our fans, and it was loud. And I said, y'all go back out there and enjoy this moment. I, I'll send something out there in a minute. R.C. Slocum has been involved in 18 of A&M's bowl games, or right at half. The Jackson stop when he was defensive coordinator is still deep-rooted in his conscience. So is the 1990 Holiday Bowl when he was head coach, in which the Aggies weren't given much of a chance versus BYU. They had made some comments about they wish they had gotten a higher ranked bowl opponent and uh, you know someone that would have elevated them a little bit. No, I, I would never do something like that as a coach to bring something up like that. <laughs> no, we talked about it every day before every practice, the whole thing. We were, we were on a mission. They thought they were pretty good and they were favored in the game and we beat the dog out of them. <laughs> you know? The college game's postseason has changed greatly over time. The holiday menu of bowls is robust to say the least. Title sponsors are all part of it now. Payouts are huge, but these days your win total doesn't have to be. And for the player, it continues to get more lavish. Staying at the Anatole in Dallas and good bowl gifts, great hospitality, and all the way up to the game um, really was a treat. In the end, the bowl game is about the lasting image, ones that live for decades. The traditions, the championships, the rewards. Say what you want about college football's postseason and what it has lacked over the years. But don't forget, it has provided us all with oh so much. Of Texas A&M's 34 previous bowl game appearances, 27 have been held in either Texas or Louisiana. This Chick-fil-A Bowl provides us with our first true chance to go way east for the first time since 1978 when the Aggies beat Iowa State in Birmingham, Alabama, and the Hall of Fame Bowl at Legion Field.